Karobo, the robot, is being put through his paces aboard a plane that simulates the weightlessness of space. Japanese scientists are making sure he can move and talk in the space-like environment. It's an important task because he will soon travel to the International Space Station. The goal, give astronaut Koshi Wakata an electronic companion when he becomes the first Japanese commander of the ISS in November. Back on land, counterpart Murata says, that's one small step for me, one giant leap for robots. In addition to speaking, Murata can recognize human voices and speech. Kurobo, the robot that will actually go into space, also has facial recognition capabilities. One of the robot's designers says he wanted humans to feel like it was worth talking to the 14-inch creations, that humans and robots could build a real relationship. And that may be the real glimpse into the future. Astronaut Wakata will spend six months in space. One day, astronauts could spend even more time away from Earth, perhaps on the first manned mission to Mars. Robots like Murata and Kurobo could make that journey less lonely. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.